Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some resin flower coasters and in this video I am going to be um, showing you really quickly just how much pigment I'm adding to my resin. I'm adding, um, this is fireworks glitter, all these pigments are from Laura's Art Corner and I really wanted to show you guys what I do for the white. This is Angel White Epoxy Paste by Larez. What I do is I take my little stir stick, mix it up and then I scrape the excess off the stick. I don't use much of this at all, I really only use white what's left on the stick after I scrape it off. This white is super opaque and you don't need much at all. And I have about one ounce of resin in this cup here. I know the cup looks dirty, but I reuse my mixing cups. If you let your cups sit upright um, after you're done pouring, the next time you pour, you can reuse them over and over again. It's a great way to kind of reduce waste. And this is the white gold from Laura's Art Corner. I added about a pea size amount to one ounce of resin. And this is her Camila Pink from Laura's Art Corner. And this cup is bigger. It's got four ounces of resin in there. So I added quite a bit more pink. And then you just want to really stir up those mica powders well. I'm going to give those a good mix and then we will start pouring. I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how to mix your resin, check out my Milky Way coaster tutorial. I'll link it down below. I show you how to mix your resin in that video if you're new to resin and you want to see how I mix my resin. So I filled up my molds. Um, these molds take about three ounces to fill up. I get these molds off Amazon. But bubbles do like to cling to the rim of the mold, so I always go in with a silicone mixing tool or a silicone paintbrush, dislodge those bubbles, bring them towards the center, and then hit them with my heat gun to pop them all the way. So now we're going to go in with some fireworks glitter. This glitter is so pretty from Laura's Art Corner. It's kind of got a pink undertone to it, but it's really silver and sparkly as well. And now we're going to go in with our pigments. This technique is so easy. I'm just going to do little like circles of each of my pigments here and I'm trying not to hold my cup over my mold because I don't want any drips to drip down into my uh, coaster mold here same thing with the white just going in and doing little circles you don't want to have a big blob of white either so if you're having kind of like a big blob drop down just go in with your stir stick and kind of smooth it out so it's not a big blob um, because that white like i said it's really dense and it'll sink down and it'll give you a big blob in your coaster as well now i'm going to go in with the white gold same thing little rings and circles of color and then after this, I'm going to go in with the pink one more time and then a little bit more white and that's it. And I am using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy on uh, these coasters here. Just adding a little bit more pink. I was so excited to try this technique, um, but I'll tell you here in a second what went wrong with this. You'll see. Just adding a little bit more white and then same thing on this one. Didn't want to add too much white because if you add too much of that angel white, it will take over. And this is 50 minutes later. You can see I didn't do anything. I didn't add any more heat to these, but you can see everything kind of feathered out and got really pretty and wispy, but it had already started to get hard on me. I was trying to go in and draw flower petals and um, it was just already hardened and that was because this resin does not like to be poured that deep um, it had started to heat up too fast because I poured it too deep and that's why it had already started to set up so I wasn't able to go in and do my flower petal design like I had planned but I still think they turned out really pretty um, these are just under a half inch um, that's how deep I poured them. So if you guys do try this resin, I wouldn't pour it over a quarter inch deep. It doesn't like to be poured um, in, uh, this deep because like I said, it started to heat up really fast and I wasn't able to go in and do my flower petal designs. But I still think they turned out gorgeous. They've got a really, really pretty wispy effect to them. It's kind of like an accidental discovery on this technique. There's so much depth and dimension. Um, this one I was really excited to demold because it really looks like a flower from the backside. But can you see right there, it got a little bit warped 
too, um, just because, you know, resin cures by an exothermic reaction and it just got too hot because I poured it too deep. So this was definitely a lesson and a learning experience, um, but the technique is really, really fun and I am going to be trying this um, in some different molds. I'm going to be trying it in some thinner molds and I will go in and do the flower petal design because I really want to show you guys that technique. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you don't miss that video. I'm going to give that a try this coming weekend and hopefully have that video posted next week. But let me know what you guys think of these. Um, Either way, this technique turned out pretty as well, so I hope you guys give this a try. It's so easy to do, and I got some really pretty effects and depth on these pieces. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic, and as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.